Welcome to the Backseat Driver. My name is Neil Mathwig, and thank you so much for taking the time to join me. Uh, thanks, everybody, for last week. This is our second show, and uh, I'm so excited about what we've got going here. Uh, last week, uh, the show, uh, I, it was a tough one for me to do. I mean, I had to really pour out my heart and uh, share a lot of uncomfortable things with you. And and so thank you, everybody who watched it. Thank you for everybody who has shared it and, and left comments with me. I had some great conversations uh, after the show last week. So thank you for all of that. The one complaint that a lot of people had is that the show was too long. I get that. Uh, that, that was the foundation uh, to, the, to the show. Uh, moving forward, we're not going to have such long car rides. They're going to be more like 10 to 12 minutes. If I go over that, it'll be free. Okay, that's my guarantee to you. So, uh, so I'm gonna um, again. I'm gonna try to keep the shows a little bit, a little bit quicker uh, moving forward. But that first one is kind of the foundation of it. So I noticed that I need to get a new shirt here. I just realized that uh, I've, I've been meaning to do that. I've been meaning to get some uh, new apparel. Look, look, look sharp on this show. This shirt is so big on me. I just just noticed that. Uh, but it also reminds me of a time that I called Coles to see if they had a big and tall section. And the lady that I talked to, I, I said, uh, you know, do you guys have a, a big and tall section? And she's like, yeah, we do. It's not, it's not very huge, but we, we have one. I said, oh, okay, well, that's fine. Cause I'm not that huge anyways. And uh, she's like, no, 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 no. I didn't, I didn't mean it that way. I, I meant that the size of the, 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 the section that we have isn't that huge. And it, I'm sorry. And I said, no, 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 no problem. Lady. I'm just joking. You, I no, no. I, I know exactly what you're saying. I'm just all kidding aside here, and uh, I got her laughing so hard that she snorted. So it was a it was a hoot of a time. But uh, but that you know that that uh, reminds me of the way I used to be. I used to uh, try to find a funny way of of spinning off uh, my weight loss or my my weight challenges, and and so and and to try to make. Uh, people laugh, and and that was uh, one of the one of the one of the funny stories that I had to to go with that. So uh, today's show, we are going to be talking about that topic itself, and I'm going to ask the question: Why is it a struggle for so many people to lose weight? Why do we deal with this so? Why is this so hard to deal with? And I'm going to share, you know, why I think it is. Uh, of course, I'm just the backseat driver. I don't have all of the answers. I I'm just going to. Um, share why I think that uh, so many people struggle with this, and and uh, like I, I, again, I, I just want to you know make sure you know I'm I'm the backseat driver. I don't have all of the answers. I I'm just gonna try to share my opinion. So in today's show, we're gonna talk about three things. The first one is is the one thing that brought me to my knees to say enough is enough, and why you need to identify this as well. Then we're going to move to three questions you can ask yourself that will help you identify that one thing. And lastly, why I believe exercise can keep you from losing weight. So one of the things that, that brought me to saying enough is enough was, was a quote that I heard from Rex Ryan, the, the NFL football coach for, uh, for the New York Jets. And Ryan said, if you think about it, you don't see too many fat 60-year-olds walking around. And, man, he's right. I That was kind of a aha moment for me that I thought, you don't. You don't see too many obese 60-year-olds. And if I want to live that long, I, I better get this under control. The other thing that really hit home with me was my kids. You know, they, they need me. They need me to be the dad. They need me in their life. You know, my, my wife... Jenny, uh, she lost her parents at a young age, and I see how much it's affected her life and how much of a struggle it is, and I don't want that for my kids. So, you know, when I, when I, got, when I got thinking about it, those were the, the, the major whys to why I wanted to lose weight, and then what helped me was to realize that I needed to let go of the control, that I needed somebody else to help me. Uh, and so w when those started to click, um, that's what was holding me back was understanding my why and then letting go of the control. So the three questions that you need to ask yourself to help find your why, uh, are these three questions. What do you have or what do I have? You got to ask yourself this. What do I have to be grateful for? What is it in my life that I need to be grateful for? I think we often will, will think about what we 
what we want instead of what we already have and and maybe what things that we're 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 looking for in our life that we don't yet have and you know for me i'm grateful for my kids i'm grateful for my wife for my family uh that's that's what that's what motivated me uh so what is it that you're grateful for also ask yourself what are the limiting beliefs that are holding me back what am i believing that i shouldn't be believing for me it was I watch, you know, the the weight loss shows. I'd watch, uh, um, no, I can't think of it. The Biggest Loser. I'd watch The Biggest Loser, and I would see how hard these people would work out, and 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 all of the things that they'd have to do. And I would think, man, losing weight is hell. I don't want to go through that. I, I, no, I'll just stay fat. I don't want to have to do what they're doing. But then I learned that you don't have to exercise in order to lose weight. And so we're going to dive into that. But but what is holding you back? What is the limiting beliefs that you have that are holding you back? Answer that question. And and if you need to pause this video to, to, to think about it, I'll be here after you unpause it. So take the time. Write it down. Write these write your answers to these questions down. It'll it really will help you. And the last one is is who can help me with this? Who out there can I lean on? that that can help me with this i know with with me as soon as i started reaching out and asking for help i was blown away at how many people were willing to help me and how i just started putting people in my life with the answers so so do that put it out there at, at you know think about who you could call on that could help you uh with your struggles so um again write your answers down uh and 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 take your time with this this is this is uh, really going to help you you know putting myself out here like this is is not easy at all i it's not but it's so worth it i have um i i just can't say anything more i mean other than that it is just so worth doing doing this and putting myself out here like this uh and 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 you know if i i don't think i would be where i'm at if i didn't make this public if i didn't put myself out there and have others people hold help hold me accountable i wouldn't be where i'm at so i encourage you to do that as well put it out there that you're struggling put it out there that you're you're fighting and it's amazing how many people will will wrap will put your arms around you and will help you through it so um don't don't be afraid to do that um once i discovered my why uh, i really felt god moving in my life i really felt that uh, you know, I was praying for it, and I really felt like I was just bringing the right people, the right diet, the the right uh, answering to my questions, and just helping me get over this and 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 start fighting. So uh, I, I just I hope that you'll put it out there, give up the control, announce it, let it be known, and and just watch God work. It's 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 absolutely amazing. So earlier you might have heard me say that I I I realize that I don't exercise on my diet. I lose weight without exercising. And that is such a mind blowing concept because it's been drilled in our head that we need to exercise. We need to pound the gym in order to lose weight. Well, in fact, the truth is, is that sometimes exercise can actually slow down our weight loss. Uh, there was a, a, a great article that was put out by New, the New York Times, and I've got the link in the YouTube channel here on the YouTube video. Uh, check that link out. Read this article. It's amazing. Uh, I'll also be tweeting it and putting it out on all of the social media sites. But uh, in, in this article, basically what it says is that the mathematics of weight loss is, in fact, quite simple, involving only subtraction. To lose weight, take in fewer calories than you burn. Let me say that again. It's as simple as this. To lose weight, take in fewer calories than you burn. Even, even though the math is simple, applying this is a real challenge. I get that. All right. I totally understand that. Um, but the, 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 the diet that I'm on, that's exactly what it's doing. It's all it's doing is limiting the amount of calories that I'm taking in. And because I'm doing that, I'm losing weight. I don't have to exercise because every time I went and exercise, I would want to come home and eat a bowl of spaghetti and take a nap. And so I would just fill myself back up with those calories. Well, now I'm on a diet that I don't have to exercise because I'm just limiting my diet. I'm almost borderline starving myself. I have so few calories going in that I don't need to burn calories in order to lose weight. So after the break, I'm going to 
share more of the diet with you. I'm on a diet called Ideal Protein, and I'm going to share exactly how what I do in a daily on a daily basis for my diet. So I'm going to share that after the break. So we're going to take a quick commercial, and we'll be right back after these messages. Messages. All right. Oh, what's that? We still don't have commercials. Boy, you'd think by the second show somebody would want to be on our commercial, be in a commercial, but I guess not. I don't know. All right. So, all right. Well, no, no big deal. Okay. Now let's get ready here. Okay. All right. Thank you again. Neil Mathwick here, backseat driver. We're back. And now I'm going to share with you my diet called Ideal Protein. And this is what I eat on a, on a daily basis. Uh, I start out in the morning and I have one of these. I, let's see if the camera can pick it up here. Uh, this is a, a, a bar that I have. A fresh new box. It just went today. Um, and it's a, a protein bar. Uh, they're awesome. They taste like a candy bar. It's the reason I wake up every morning. Literally, I love it. I have it with my coffee, and I can drink coffee on the diet too. That's one thing that some diets you can't do. So, um, so I have the bar first thing in the morning, and then for lunch I have one of these, and it's a it's a uh, it's a soup that I have, and um, it comes in a package like this, and I mix eight ounces of water with the soup. And I pop it in the microwave for a minute, 15. And then I mix two cups of vegetables. I usually have broccoli. So I do two cups of vegetables and I mix that in with the soup. And then in the afternoon, I have a shake, a chocolate shake. And they're really yummy. You can just drink the shake itself. Or what I do is I go to a coffee shop and I mix in two shots of espresso on ice in a 16-ounce cup. And I pour this into it. And um, I'm looking for a 16 ounce cup because I'm sure I've got one in my car here somewhere. No, this is one that I had a bigger one. So I, you know, take one of these. I go to Starbucks or, you know, Cool Beans or wherever. Uh, beans and creams, we've got to give props to beans and creams. Anyways, um, no endorsements here, no endorsements. But anyways, I get shots of uh, espresso on ice and then I pour the, sh the shake in it and away I go. And it's a loss. It's like I'm having a, an espresso, but I'm having my my protein shake. And then for dinner, I have eight ounces of lean meat with two cups of vegetables. And I used to have a late night snack. Uh, it was pudding. I had butterscotch pudding every night. Uh, and that also came in a package like this. And I mixed that up and, and have pudding. But they just cut me off of that. I uh, am at... Usually you can only have three of these meals, but because of my weight, they started me out with four, and now they just cut me down to three as of today. So it's a little tough, man. I'm gonna have to give up my pudding at night, but I'm I'm gonna be all right. I'm I'm not worried about it. So so what happens is it puts my body in a state of ketosis, and where my body uses the fat for its fuel instead of the protein. So it it's burning fat. It's it's eating away my fat to fuel my body. And that's why I'm losing all of this weight. So I'm going to leave you with this last thought. I, I just heard this song yesterday and it hit me and I'm like, oh, I got to share this with the backseat driver folks. Uh, it's a song from uh, Casting Crowns called Thrive. And it, there's a, a line in the song that just grabbed me. And what it says is, it's time for us to more than just survive. We are made to thrive. And that's exactly the way I felt. I felt like I was just surviving. I'm just going through the motion. I'm just going to survive. I'm going to be fat and happy. And I'm just going to survive. But then God wants more from us. God wants us to thrive. And so I love that song. Uh, and if you got to listen for it. I think it's a moving song. And, and I think it's a good one to, to leave with you. So no matter where you're at with your weight loss journey, I want to hear from you. If you could leave a comment below. Let me know where you're at how things are going. Uh, again, I don't promote Ideal Protein. I don't get paid by them at all. It's a diet that's working for me. It's a diet that changed my life. So I'm passionate about it and I love to share it. But again, it's not for everybody and it's and I'm not promoting it. But I hope you find the right diet for you. I hope you discover your why of why you need to lose weight or what what why you can't lose weight. I hope you can find that. So th for that's it for the backseat driver this week. Thanks again, everybody. And remember, I'm only the backseat driver. I don't have all of the answers. I hope that you have a great day and we'll see everybody real soon. Thanks.